Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore in 1.17 RC2. Yes, we are currently in the release candidate versions. 1.17 is just around the corner. Why is this ugly pillar still here? Why have I not removed this? I don't know, but it's gone now. Anyways, today we have a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, first off, I want to re... Yeah, you know what? This... No. I, for some reason, have completely forgot that there are things called blast furnaces and smokers. So, um, of course, I don't have any locks to make a smoker, but I can... Wait, what? what's the what's the recipe for a... Hold on. Hold on. What is the... Why is it not... Eh? Wait. Wait. I've forgotten the recipe for a blast furnace. What is the point of in-game recipe guide if you gotta look it up on the interweb anyway. Aha! Found it. Okay. Like, what? I have two of the items needed. It's not even in here. <laughs> Slightly annoying, but okay. Uh, what I need to do is I, of course, need smooth stone for this, so we gotta get some of that. Of course, I need some logs. I think it is still nighttime? No, it's daytime. Okay, cool. Well, let me go get some logs then. Also, our potato farm is going pretty good. I did not check for creepers. That was a fatal mistake. Could have been. Um, but our potatoes are growing grow quite well. I might want to actually add a tree farm as well over here sometime. Uh, because these trees are getting a little bit low. Because <laughs> I haven't actually been replanting them, which is a little bit of an issue. Uh, but we'll take care of that eventually. Alright, five logs. That should be perfect. It's not perfect because I just remembered what the other thing was I wanted to do. Alright, while the smooth stone is being made, I'm gonna go ahead and make a smoker right here. Perfect. I'm gonna move the crafting table, I think, over here. And I'm gonna add the smoker. There's definitely a cave back here as well, somewhere. Then I'm gonna grab the smooth stone and then take the furnace. And then we are going to convert the furnace into... A blast furnace just like that we could add that there and then of course the normal furnace just like so all right perfect the other thing I want to do is redo this entire storage area if you heard that I'm sorry that was a motorcycle driving by yes I know annoying all right so to continue I will be converting this and then doing this and boom HS that should be good I'm paranoid for that sound because it sounds like a creeper and I'm pretty sure it's a creeper and I'm scared that the creeper is going to come up behind me but I need to not be scared I need to be brave anyways uh, I'm going to basically remove this get everything else in here no nope, okay and then I'm going to place I think since I have 10 ow forgot there's a campfire there <laughs> I'm gonna place them like so and I'm gonna start organizing so food in one materials in another etc etc all this terracotta, all this stone, everything pretty much needs to be moved. All right, inventory has been sorted, so now we have wood, we have stone, then we have stuff made with like stone and wood, then we have like andesite diorite and gravitite, not gravitite, granite, <laughs> one with terracotta, one is empty, then one with bits of glass that doesn't really belong anywhere, nature stuff, monster drops. And finally, old tools and whatnot. And then of course over here we have one empty. I don't know what I'm gonna add here. Um, one for valuables and then one for food stuff. I'm also gonna go ahead and just add some coal in all of the furnaces just so that it is already there, ready to just plop something in there. And I'm also gonna go ahead and give myself four coal for some torches. Actually, I'm gonna take even more. I'm actually going to move this crafting table over here in between. And then I would love to maybe make a frame of something. I don't know. I want some nicer background and a frame around this. Um, we'll, we'll see what I figure out. But anyways, it is time, I think... Uh, when is it going? When is it turning night time? That's the question. You see, I have found some stuff that require us to go outside and explore a bit. Um, but the sun is going down, so I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna pause it here and I'll be back when the sun is coming up. We can harvest our potatoes and we can go check out, uh, well, what I found because some of it is quite interesting and hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to find something we have been kinda looking for. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back. 
And I've also added a stone cutter. I thought I could use it on wood, but apparently you can't use it on wood, which uh, which um yeah that 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 just makes me sad. But I guess it makes sense. Stone cutter. Um, I also want to add a different background. I'm thinking a different shade of wood, but uh, we'll see. And also, yes, I've installed two doors right here because I actually want to add a wall right here. Um, anyways, I think it is nighttime outside, so let us sleep really quickly. I have a bunch of dirt on me because I think I want to make a little plot for some trees today. Um, but of course, our main priority right now is to farm our potatoes and then take a look at the stuff that I said I have found. All right, the potatoes is actually all of them almost ready uh, to be harvested. So I think we're going to wait a little bit with that and actually check out the stuff. So one of the things is that I have actually found another ruined portal, but not only that. I have found other biomes. There is actually an area, I think right over there somewhere, where the, um, trying to follow some coordinates here from a screenshot, um, where we can actually see some other biomes, I believe, maybe just a plains or a normal forest, but at least we know where to go to find other biomes. So if I go in this direction, and I'll be right back once I find the place that I was looking for, it's only like 60 blocks more in this direction. And there you can see it right there. I unfortunately don't have any zoom button and I keep pressing C uh, to zoom in. Um, so yeah, I should, I should probably get that in. Hello? This guy keeps teleporting. But yeah, as I said, I should probably get the zoom mod installed. I think that is still... Actually, no, I don't want to install the zoom mod. Of course, we need to use the spyglass. <laughs> Silly me. Um... Oh yeah, and also there are some mineshaft activity over here, um, as you can see right there. What is my rent resistance set to? 16. Huh. Anyway, as you can see, we have some mineshaft activity that I want to check out. I see a mineshaft. I okay, wait with the portal. I see a minecart with the chest in this direction. We gotta check that out. This is one of the things that I really enjoy with the mesas. Like you could get these. Whoa, that's cool. Ow! Hey! Hey! No, mean. You would get these very cool, like, just chests spawning in the middle of every, like, not everywhere, but on the surface. And, okay, this is not, this is not the best chest, but I guess it is, because we have glowberries. Also, I'm going to take that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to look through those in a little bit. I want to check out this portal up here. So now we've actually found two rune portals. And if we could just find some diamonds as well to make a diamond pickaxe, well, that's our ticket to the nether. Um... Which I think would be really, really cool. But let's see here. I can now actually grab the golden box here. Which I am going to grab right now. While we're here. Hello. There we go. Perfect. Two gold blocks. Not bad at all. What do we have in the chest? Two pieces of flint. Flint and steel. And a golden hole with curse of vanishing. Not, not, not the best enchantments. But you know what? I'll still take it. Now again. We need a diamond pickaxe in order to take this obsidian. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and check out these uh, mine shafts here. And let's see what we can find. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and... That's a... Wait a minute. That's a spider spawner. That's a spider spawner here on the surface. Hold up. Guys, we might be able to... We might be able to make like a... Uh, like an XP farm with these things. I don't think I've actually ever made a spider spawner, like, farm thing before. I think that could be really, really cool if we did that. I think that's, I think that should be added to the projects list. I'm definitely going to add that to the projects list. <laughs> uh, we got some gold down here. Not really interested in gold at the moment. That's definitely a fine, re oh, look at this. Another minecart with chest. A dead end, no iron either. I could use a little bit of iron, but let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay, more glowberries. We got rails, of course. Then we have lapis. That's really good. And a golden apple. And I'm, of course, going to take the chest. And my inventory is already full. This is the point where you're starting to mish. Mish? Mish. Miss. <laughs> this is the point where you start to mish. I was about to say it again. Shulker boxes. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. Shulker boxes. You start to miss shulker boxes. Okay, I should really get all the coal here. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a look around, see if there are any more entrances and whatnot, or if it's all just dead ends. If it isn't, well, there might be another... That's another spawner. That's... Wait, there's two spawners here. Hold up. Wait, there's a spawner here? 
And then there's a spawner there. I don't think, unfortunately, I can get it to a point where I can stand in between them. Otherwise, we could have gotten a dual spawner going on. Wow. Okay, yeah. I, we definitely need to make a spider spawner with one of these. That's for sure. And I think that one is probably easiest to work with, but I don't know. That's definitely a find right there. Like, if it was underground, that would be fair. But now that these are, like, on the surface itself... That just made things easier, and this is a little bit dangerous, so... <laughs> Gotta be careful where I place those torches. Looks like most of this is just dead ends. Wait. Yep, just a dead end. But we do have this. I do have shears on me. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Squid. Glow squid question mark? I don't think that was a glow squid. I'm going to check if there's squids on the surface because I think that might be it. But we found some iron here, which is really good. Because I did want more of that. So that is really nice. I found a squid and I also found something else. New biomes. <laughs> that was right next to us. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm going to keep checking out this. Oh, no. This could be an issue. I don't think I want to fight these guys right now because I do not want um, the bad omen effect. I really don't because if I find the village, I want to go in it because I do plan on go ow, on going out there a little bit. So yeah, I don't want to deal with those guys at the moment. So I'm just going to drop down here and pretend they don't exist. I just found another minecart with Jeff. Let's see. No diamonds, unfortunately. Plenty of torches and a name tag, which is really, really good. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, this is an this this is an inventory issue right here. <laughs> I should really carry the shield with me. So there we go. Melon seeds. Um, yeah, definitely want that. And of course, I'll take the chest. Minecart, I'll skip because we do have iron to make it, and I don't really need a minecart at the moment. I just found another one. I just found another one. Multi shot. Okay, I don't care for beetroots, really. Redstone, though. Not much, but that is something. Okay, um, inventory is definitely becoming a little bit of an issue right here. Alright, I'm just gonna leave that chest here, because my inventory is full. Um, I do want to soon head back home, but I am just curious whether or not any of these will lead to something potentially valuable the sun is going down as well though so that could be a little bit of an issue itself all right i think i've been through maybe not all of it but most of this i think it is time that i head back home uh while trying to avoid that uh that pillager little caravan over here because <laughs> i really do not want to fight those guys but they might be in my way no okay good yeah, I'm gonna head back, empty my inventory, we're gonna harvest those potatoes, and we're gonna check out the biomes that are near us. Maybe there's a village, who knows. Overall, though, that was a pretty good mission. We got a bunch of loot from that. No diamonds, unfortunately, but we did get other stuff, so that is really nice. That was, that was worth it. Alright, back home. Now I just need to, um, basically, yeah, get rid of everything. <laughs> Organizing time. All right, I have slept. It is now time to harvest the potatoes, whether or not they are ready or not. And I also want to plant these melon seeds, actually. But first, uh, okay, that kind of scared me. That kind of jump scared me. Hello, goodbye, sir. That that was kind of creepy. I want to plant these melon seeds um, right over here so they can grow onto the terracotta over there. Grab the run flesh, you never know. Get rid of the creeper. Please don't explode. There we go. Nice. But yes, I want to plant the melon seeds because we do have a row right here anyway. So might as well add them right here. They should automatically grow onto this bit right here. Boom. And some of them are still not fully grown, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Let's see how many potatoes we get. This is satisfying. This is extremely satisfying. So from that alone, we now have pretty much three, three stacks of potatoes. And after we have planted everything, we more or less have two stacks left over from this entire farm alone. I, I don't think I ever need to worry about food ever again. 
All right, so the potato farm is working very nicely, and this sugarcane farm right here is slow, but it's going on. It, it It's happening. So that's something. Also, I think one of you, at the very least, pointed out in the comments in the last episode that the texture had indeed been changed. So thank you for that. I, I really like how it's more vibrant. I just... We're in a mesa, so um, it's not very vibrant right here. Now, as we have this going on, I would love to get a little bit of a plot going on with some trees. And I think I'm probably going to make it right next to it, I think. Although I'm kind of starting to think of a little bit of a design here. But I think it should work. So if I just go down and do a little bit of smelting and whatnot, um, I think we will construct our very first tree farm. It's not going to be very big or anything, but it should be enough to keep us sustained for wood for a while. So what I want to do is I want to add a border of stone bricks around this and then continue that border down. And then by doing so, one, two, three, four, so that's nine. I should be able to continue this pattern of these squares all the way down. And this should be it. So this should be another stone brick right here. And so I think you kind of get the idea. We will have squares of different things that we will be farming. I think this could be really cool. My pickaxe just broke, but basically if we want to, for example, grow wheat, we will make another square over here, just like this one. And we will be able to have wheat in it. And then another one for carrots and another one for beetroots, etc. If we want to farm other stuff. We could also have one for netherworld, for example. So I think I want to keep that kind of square design and just keep spreading it out as we need new stuff. And the cool thing is, well, if we don't want carrots over there, we could just wipe it off and then remove the trees and then put it here instead because it's all going to be dirty in these squares anyway. So this might be a really good setup. So now this is completely clear. What I need to do is I need to place down this dirt right here. All throughout this square right here. Fill it all in. And of course, I don't want the the water, uh, the water hole right there. I don't need that here because this is trees. So yeah, I do need three blocks of dirt though. Kind of annoying. And done. Now I just need to add that stone brick border around it, and it's gonna look kind of good actually. I hope anyway. Now I just need some saplings to put on the dirt, and we should be good to go. All right, I have chopped down like four trees i'm going to go away and hopefully they're gonna drop some saplings when i return gonna put the potatoes over the oven or in the oven or whatever and add some more coal so it can keep going and with these new logs i'm actually able to continue the pattern design or the interior design i don't know whatever i can now continue with these and do just that perfect i just discovered that i actually have eight saplings in here so um yeah that that's that Look at that, baked potatoes! Now, if my calculations are correct, I should have just enough stone bricks to put around this one plot. Uh, yeah, I think I think I'm. I think I have just enough. Forty was just enough. Look at that. Put some torches on this. Next, I need to figure out where I want the saplings to go. I think four saplings per plot. Unless I'm doing something really big. Maybe five? Oh, maybe five. All right, I've moved them five saplings per plot. I think that should do it. Now, if we could get some skeletons to spawn, that would be pretty cool. So I could use the bone meals to bone meal them. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this setup. Now, I know I said that I wanted to check out the other biomes that we have close by, but I think we're running pretty low on time for this episode. So I think what I'm going to just do instead is finish up this uh, this wall right here. And then after that, maybe add in some windows as well and then call it an episode. And in the next one, we will then check out um, what's it called? The other biomes to see what we got close by. I have an idea. It might be a silly one, but it might also be not a too bad one. You know, even though this is right here, this gap, I think I kind of like it. Um, maybe not cobblestone though. Maybe, maybe some brick will do it better. Yeah, I think cobblestone doesn't look that great in this combination, but maybe stone bricks will. Especially if we do the floor a different like color as well as the ceiling. 
I don't know, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments what these blocks should be and if you like this right here. Anyways guys, I'm going to call this episode here. Really hope you have enjoyed in the next one. I think we will be checking out those biomes and potentially be making a spider spawner. Be having access to string and also an XP farm this early on in the game would be very very handy. So if we can build that, that's going to be pretty sick. So I'm gonna look into that. I will zoom into my face, but I can't. So you're gonna have to have this nodding effect instead. <laughs> Anyways, really hope you have enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this overall design here down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you haven't done so yet and enable those notifications to not miss when I upload my next video. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and goodbye.